Well, the same day the Liberals tabled their Fair Hydro Act, a plan to cut electricity bills by an average of 25 percent, a leaked document released to the provincial Conservatives is suggesting hydro prices will be jumping dramatically after four years. It's, 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 a, it's a real document. Uh, the minister today in question period when asked about the price of electricity in 2024 said he didn't have a crystal ball, but it's right there in black and white in that document uh, what they were briefed on uh, as far as a cost goes for electricity in 2024. So, um, you know, the average price of electricity certainly is it going to go down next year compared to this year? Yes, uh, but we're going to see those rates soar to heights that we've never seen in Ontario as a result of the plan that the government has brought forward. If passed, the legislation introduced today would cap hydro rates increased at 2% for the next four years. But the documents show that under the Liberals' plan, starting in 2022, the average bill is projected to go up 6.5% every year and will go up 10.5% in 2028. That would bring the average monthly bill to about 215 a month compared to the 2017 monthly average of $123. For any confidential document, uh, I can't verify it, but what I can tell you is the number is inaccurate. We um, are working hard right now to continue to pull costs out of the system. Let's be clear, I've, I've said this from the beginning, and I said it in my speech. This plan, the Fair Hydro plan, will cost more, and it will take us longer to pay off. But if you look at what we did with the 2010 long-term energy plan, said our bill was going to be um, about $178 in 2017. On average, today, our bills are about 156. And why is that? Because we've pulled costs out of the system. The NDP has also criticized the Liberals' fair hydro plan today, blaming high hydro rates on the government decision to sell off its majority stake in Hydro One.